Hello there cherished ones. Um, so it's Friday today, it's Beltane and in fact you might get two videos. Um, uh, firstly catch up and it's Beltane today so we started the morning with the Ganga Puja and also a Beltane ritual which is a ritual connected to spring um, and fertility. So we're about to, after this break, um, go and do some ceremonies connected to that particular tradition. Um, but today's been a really positive, brilliant day, lots of learning. I actually, uh, me and a friend started a study group because we're geeks um, and in the lunch hour we were practicing asanas and looking at how we're going to deliver our classes. Um, but today I, what I really wanted to do was talk a little about, bit about the Ganga. I had a lovely um, morning ritual bath but also I went in the Ganga during lunchtime and I just felt so blessed to have this river I could go into and swim and get my cardiovascular going. Um, so yeah, this is a bit about the Ganga um, in my manual. Um, so the Puranas, ancient Hindu scriptures, say that the sight, the name and the touch of the Ganga cleansing cleanses one of all sins and immersing in the mother Ganga bestows heavenly blessings. The Narada Purana prophesies pilgrimages in the present Galya Yoga, so this is the, the time we're in now, to the, Ganga, to the Gangas will be of utmost importance. Ganga originates from the Gangotri glacier in Gomuk, Gomuk in the Indian Himalayas at 4,100 meters above sea level and it actually flows 2,525 kilometers across northern India before meeting the Bay, Bay of Bengal in the East India and, Bang, and in, in East India and Bangladesh. Um, as a river, the Ganga contributes to more than 25% of India's total water. Um, and yes, every day I've been taking a bath in the sacred rivers and to be honest, I wasn't that hung up on rivers. I thought, yeah, the sea, the ocean, streams, meh, rivers, meh. But I'm in love with the Ganga, her colour, how refreshing she is and just a real sense of beauty. And I guess we've made it sacred through our puja and it's, yeah, I feel... A real honor for this river and what it provides and today in the Beltane ceremony I was um, reading a little bit of the ceremony about the, the the element the direction of west which connects to water and the wisdom of water so I feel I guess an even deeper connection that I didn't even realize was inside of me around water and around this particular river which has been really beautiful um, so something else today we had an Ayurvedic doctor come and do a talk um, Dr. D.K. Sirvaravasta, um, talking about Ayurveda, Ayur meaning life and Veda meaning knowledge. And I just wanted to share a few tips. Um, so he's just talking about how important it is to be aware of exercise. And he said exercise is a type of food and you should exercise, walk five kilometers every day and it gives you energy, which I thought was quite sweet. Um, he was talking about fasting once a day, so that's a juice fast he recommends to give the body a rest. And he also said, as um, something good for the teeth, is to rub um, salt. He said salt with olive oil rubbing into the mass uh, is important to massage into the gums for good teeth health, which I thought was quite cool. Um, and he gave lots of other interesting insights into how you should start the day and how you can finish the day. Um, and it was really beautiful, but I just wanted to share those few with you. Um, but yeah, so far so good, learning lots. Again, gathering a lot to share when I return. Um, and I think I'm finding my way a little bit with this, um, with this, um, this course that I'm on. It has been a bit tricky at times, but yeah, I just feel so, so grateful, and so, so blessed to actually be here experiencing this. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's all for now. You might get another Beltane update later on today. Much love.